You are looking live at Chicago's Grand Park, where the Pride in the Park Music Festival is just winding down, but police are in the park tonight for more than just security. Just over two hours ago, in a different area of Grand Park, near the Skate Park, a man was stabbed. Andrew Ramos is live at the scene with more details. Andrew. That's right, Dana, and this stabbing happened on the south side of the park in the 1100 block of Michigan Avenue, about a mile away from where that music festival is underway right now. You can take a look behind me. Police still here on the scene investigating the situation. They said happened at 7.30 p.m. The victim whose age and identity has not been disclosed was transported to Northwestern Memorial Hospital and is listed in critical condition. One person is in custody. Now, the police presence was significantly increased here at Grand Park and other locations around the city ahead of the Pride Parade as Chicago police not taking any chances this weekend. <laughs> Festivities both big and small have taken over Chicago for the weekend. It all will come to a head at the 52nd annual Pride Parade, which will kick off in the city's uptown neighborhood and wrap up in Lincoln Park. Selena Capazzoli getting a head start on the fun with her best friend at Pride in the Park, a two-day music festival at Grand Park. Just supporting each other as well as having people support us. It's a community that's under attack right now. Represents who we are. Yeah, it's our month, you know? Yeah, it is our month. Yeah. The long-standing tradition of Pride Weekend in the city meant to celebrate community brings in the crowds, but also concerns. Anti-LGBT sentiment across the country has grown over the years, where a surge of legislative action have targeted the community, which in some cases led to violence. It's a concern that both event organizers and Chicago police are taking very seriously. We're an easy target and I want people to be here to have a good time, celebrate, be who they are and not worry about that. And we're going to have our most experienced officers working throughout the night after the parade. With a security plan in place, which will have an additional 200 officers on patrol, businesses along the parade route are hoping for the best. Last minute gig? Yes. I Beatniks, a costume accessory shop along Halstead, is seeing a boom in business as parade goers pick up last minute items ahead of the big event. The shop choosing to cancel out the noise from naysayers. At the same time, it also sparks a conversation. I mean, again, here when you walk into this door, you definitely do feel like already a sense of welcome, a sense of like kind of love at the same time. Now, nearly one million people are expected to take place, uh, take part, I should say, in the Pride Parade on Sunday with everything starting at noon with street closures lasting till 8 p.m. Reporting live at Grand Park, I'm Andrew Ramos, CBS2 News. All right, Andrew, thank you.